Hello, I'm Wayne with Modular Hydro. Today we're going to learn how to start plants from seeds. What we've done is we've taken the entire process and we're going to break it down to make it very simple for you to do this. There's nothing like learning from a video. What I'm going to do is first of all is take my grow cubes or grow chunks, these are my starter cubes, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just cut them as you see. I like using small ones because what I'm going to do is a simplified method of you preloading your, your, your net pots. So you can take your net pots and plant them in whatever system you decide to grow in. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and take our appropriate cube. We're going to take our preferred grow media and it could be hydrogen, it could be rock, it could be uh, we use grow stones, that's our preferred choice. And the reason why is we love the wicking capability and we like the new technology of grow stones. If you want to learn more about grow stones, go to our website, modularhydro.com. We have a featured article just on grow stones. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour some grow stones out on the table. Now, like any grow media, the first thing you want to do is rinse your media. Make sure you get all the dust and the dirt off. We've already done that. We're not going to show you how to do that. Just simply hold it under a garden hose or under your kitchen sink. Rinse the stones thoroughly or your preferred grow media. Rinse it thoroughly and you're ready to go. The first thing we want to do is preload our net pot. And that just simply means throw a bunch of your preferred grow media, we're using grow stones today, into your net pot about maybe one third full. Then what you want to do is take your grow cube that you're going to plant your seed into or your cutting into and you want to preload your pot, meaning you want to simply hold it in there and then fill the remaining area with your preferred media. This is not rocket science folks, it's actually very simple to do. but. What's nice about this is you're preloading your pots so that you don't have to do this later down the road. In other words, when your plants start to grow, you're ready to take this, pull it out of your tray, and place it directly into your system. So we're going to get this completely preloaded. Okay, now we're done. So as you can see, that is completely loaded into the net pot. Set that off to the side. Now the next thing we want to do is we want to make sure that we have our water all set. And I'm just using a little squirt spray bottle, okay? And you want to check your pH. Make sure the pH of your water is around 5.5. Now to do that, you just simply take an inexpensive pH test kit. And if you don't have a pH test kit, by the way, just take half a lemon and squirt some in your water. But what I'm going to do is go ahead and preload my little pH test, put three or four drops in, and check my pH. My pH is perfect. It's right around 5.5, 5.7, because I've already pre-adjusted this earlier. Now, you can also, if you choose, is to go ahead and add a little bit of nutrient to your water. Rule of thumb is, if you look at the bottle or the container of your favorite grow nutrient, use one-fourth of what it recommends for starting your plants. You want very, very little nutrient when starting your plants. You don't want to burn them, okay? So I basically just put about six to eight drops in my quart of water. Set that off to the side. Now what we want to do is we want to pre-soak, okay? Just take and squirt that on, soak that cube down, and also your grow media around it. Pre-soak that cube real good. A lot of folks like to take that little tiny grow cube and set it into a container and let it suck up the water. There's no reason to do that. Just so it's nice and wet, that's all you need to do. Now we're going to go ahead and I'm going to show you how to load your seeds into your grow cube one at a time. Just take your seeds and sprinkle a few out onto your paper towel. And you want to make sure your hands are washed. Everything is nice and clean, okay? There's a few seeds I sprinkled out. Now, all I'm going to do, I'm going to show you a neat little trick. Just take a Q-tip. Q-tips are completely sterile. I keep everything in Ziploc baggies so they stay sterile. 
What I want to do is take a little bit of my nutrient and water, shoot that onto my Q-tip, okay? The excess water, I just want to roll onto my paper towel. I don't want it completely soaking wet. What I want to do is take these seeds and be able to touch a seed and watch this. There you go. I don't have to touch the seed. Okay, even though my hands are washed, first of all, they're too small to work with. I want some kind of a tool to place it into my grow cube. Now, simply, all you do is drop it, the seed itself, into the grow cube. Now, if the hole isn't open enough, just take something, a pen, anything, to poke that hole open a little further, and then take your seed and simply tap it on top. And notice the seed is gone. It's now inside the grow cube. Set that off to the side. Take a pen, a pair of scissors, it doesn't matter. Just as long as it's clean, we're going to use the scissors to make this simple. You want to take and close that up. You don't want light to hit that seed. Okay? So you want to close that up. Once that is closed up, you're ready to go. I want to check my moisture content. I'm going to add a little bit more moisture to my grow stones. So I'm simply going to spray those. And I'm going to set that into my propagation tray. Okay? You can use a Ziploc baggie if you choose. Today we're using a propagation tray. We'll set that into the tray, place our dome on top, and that's it. You're ready to go. You want to place this into a window. Uh, a south-facing window is best, or you want a little bit of sunlight to hit these and just keep it nice and warm. You don't want it in a cold, drafty area. Or fluorescent lighting works ex extremely well for propagating seeds. That's it. After about two weeks, that plant should be about this large, okay? Now these are about a month old, as you can see. Now these, if I'll tilt this sideways for you, you can see these were started in the same exact method that I just showed you. Then I planted them into my favorite hydroponic system. Now once the plants start to grow, you want to increase your nutrients a little bit. A little bit every, every other week. Just add a little bit more nutrient to your uh, solution. Place them into your hydroponic unit and that's it. You're ready to go. Thank you for visiting Modular Hydro. Look for our how-to-do videos on modularhydro.com.